Here it is going now guys, Talk Nurse City here, back for another video. I hope you guys are doing really, really well. Today I'm back for my predicted 11 video ahead of this weekend's game against Blackburn Rovers. Yes, good memories from the last time we played Blackburn. It was a time when we all had hope, expectation and excitement. All of them three things have gone and we are now playing Blackburn Rovers at home with no chance really in getting into the playoffs. They're down near the relegation zone and um, yeah, not looking great is it? So let's get into the team anyway. The starting goal with Big John. I don't understand why he was dropped for McGovern. Um, and McGovern had a, a decent game actually against Bristol City. He made a few really good saves, but just didn't understand it. I think Ruddy's been really good in um, in the last couple of months. And yeah, there was that stat that said the last nine shots before the Bristol City game that had been on target had got in. But we won't count that because I don't think Ruddy's made any mistakes. I think he's a lot more commanding in the air. Uh, I think he's a lot more of a leader at the back. And I just didn't understand why McGovern came in. It seemed like the least of our problems, um, the goalkeeper position. But there we go. I'm going to go with Ruddy back in goal. I'm going to go with that man mountain that is Mitchell Dykes in at left back. Um, look, I think he is a top, top player. I don't think he's as good as everyone makes out. I think he's a top draw player and probably our best player, but he's been caught out of positions a few times this season. I was slightly disappointed with the way he tried to didn't close down the ball in the in the, in the goal the Ipswich scored. Um, but look, he's a top draw player and I can't see him staying here next season, so we might as well make the most of him. Uh, I'm going to go with the defensive back defensive pairing of Tim Close and Russell Martin once again. No idea why. Um, well, I, I kind of do understand why Tim Close was dropped. I don't think he's been great in the last couple of weeks, but I also don't think Ryan Bennett is, is the answer. So I'm going to go with Tim Close back in there. I think he's more of a rounded footballer than Ryan Bennett. Um, next to Russell Martin, who, to be fair to him, has had a decent few months and uh, has, has coped with criticism very, very well. Uh, in at right back, I'm going to go with my man crush, Ivo Pinto, a top draw player and a, a pivotal part to this football squad, I think. I think Pinto... Um, Close, Dykes, Housen are the very few players that I would like to keep going into next season. Um, I think Pinto is kind of epitomises what I want to see in a footballer at this football club. Someone who loves the club dearly, someone who is a good player and someone who cares for the community as much as Pinto. So it's great to see um, either Pinto doing well and you know he's going in there. In terms of the midfield pair, I'm going to go with the same one I predicted last time. As I, I always say predicted, but it's more the team I want to see playing instead of the team that I think will play. So I'm going to go with Ben Godfrey once again in the middle of the park. Like I've said in my podcast, my previews, everything, I want to be seeing one... Yeah, of course I want to see results. But as if we lose and we lose in the right manner, playing the right players, then I'm not going to be too fussed because I know the playoffs have gone. And for me, it's all about a rebuilding stage now for next season. I want to see... Three things from now until the end of the season. I want to see Alex Neal sacked. I want to see youth playing in this football team. Madison, Godfrey, players like that. Murphy's. I know Carlton Morris is injured, but and apparently he's, well, he is on loan at Rotherham. Um, players like that who will have an impact in the next five, ten years even, instead of players like Laffey. And players, Lafferty hasn't been playing, but you know what I mean. Getting the players in here who has a future at this football club instead of players who are simply playing their contract out. Um, so I'm going to go next to him, next to Johnny House. And you can't drop Johnny House. And I think he's, well, he is our best player. An absolute Rolls Royce in the middle of the park. So I'm going to stick him in there. Uh, and then I'm going to go for Pritchard out on the left. Uh, for me, how Alex Pritchard hasn't had more game time this season is utterly beyond me. And I think it's almost a fact of mismanagement from Alex Neal. I, I saw that Sergi Canos had got into the championship team of the week this week. Uh, that was a, a key indication of Alex Neal not knowing how to man manage properly. Uh, brought Sergi Canos in, really good young player. Um, didn't know how to manage him, shifted him out. Now he's doing great things at, at, at Brentford. There we go. Uh, Pritchard, another one, brought him in. So much talent. Played in the Championship two seasons ago. Tore it apart. Played in the Premier League. Didn't do so great, but still had a, a decent time. Brought him in here. You need that kind of play. doesn't play. Unbelievable. For me, in the middle, going to bring Wes Houlihan back in. Was resting on Tuesday night, and rightly so. Um, I think home games, and especially against teams like Blackburn, who do ship a lot of goals in, he's going to be that perfect um, person uh, to put in there. Out on the right-hand side, I'm going to go with Yannick Vilschut. Um, not only because his name is wonderful to say, Vultrit, 
But, you know, got his goal on Tuesday night and a lovely goal at that. And I think he is going to be a, not a key part, but certainly value, a valuable asset to this football team going forwards. And it's all about getting these players in who haven't had much game time, getting the uh, game time in now so we can go into next season as strong as possible. And then up front, our only real option up front at the moment is Cameron Jerome. Um, it would be nice to have Oliveira back. I'm not too sure he, how much longer he's going to be out for, probably a couple of weeks. Uh, and to be fair to Jerome, he's done a fantastic job considering he's got no one to back him up in that forward position. I'm not counting Kyle Lafferty um, in that kind of uh, equation. So that's the team I'd go for. Of course, then after maybe 70 minutes, bring Madison on for, uh, for, for, for Wes. Uh, get some more youth in there, see um, what he's doing. I think that would be his home debut, wouldn't it? Or especially his league home debut. Um, you know, you've got Yannick Vulture there. You could bring on Josh or Jacob for him. Um, out on the left, you could bring Naismith on or someone like that. You could have Malumbu coming on there or Tete coming on for Godfrey because of that he'll be able to last 90 minutes. You've got options, you've got rotations and you've got a good real base there for something we can build on. Um, look, that's the team I'd go for. I just want to see us doing the right things now instead of doing the things we think are right but haven't worked all season um, and then just not being prepared for next season because that would be a disaster because we've pretty much got now nine weeks of preparation, then pre-season and then a season. We've got to make the most of this time, otherwise it's just going to be a waste. Uh, so that's the team I'd go for. A massive thank you to Fritz Bits for sponsoring all match preview content here on Talk Norwich City. Go and check them out. Links in the description. Um, run by a Norwich fan. Can't beat it. Um, thanks for watching. Hit subscribe, hit like, and I will see you at Carrow Road on Saturday. Peace out. Once upon a time, a fairy tale.